is switching cars around for the next train tomorrow. Here we go. Oh, because oh, I had a friend who graduated from Coco. And, and, well, uh, I was doing a Coco until I built my My senior year, I transferred over to Mary Island. Well, you would have missed Coco too, not us. So uh, yeah. he would have been before you. Yeah, Kim Lee up in the last time I was in Coco. I don't know Coco. But um, our dearest friends in Orlando, the one that reigns in Orlando, Yep, we got backpackers. We have to take halfway and drop off. Yep, we have to take the backpackers up halfway, and then we'll have to pick them up when we get back. Maybe, I don't know. Huh? It is. Yeah, it's real cool. Because this is coal-fired engines. Coomers and Toltec is coal-fired. Three blocks away where my elementary school was. We had 10 foot cycling fences with barbed wire on top. And I used to walk the street. No big deal. But it, you're right. It's rough. And, and that whole, that's why I didn't think you could find it. That whole area is totally in shape. Torn everything down nearly there. Like you say, 33rd Street. That's where they go to a big lot. It's a huge lot. Well, you know, by now it might have been. That was probably. Yeah, we saw so many changes in Orlando in those four years we were there. My parents actually moved That's why we chose Orlando because they were there. We come down. If you want, you can go through. Is this where catch the train? Which one are you catching? 845. 840. You mean the 830? It's boarding at 830. And then 845 is where you catch it here, yeah. The, by the plant, the station. Come on, stand clear. Here we go. All the way around here to the station. Yeah. 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 Ye
Yeah, okay, you can go through here. Be careful you. of the train. Because <laughs> it's departing. Yeah, don't run over it. Yeah. yeah. You might not want to stand in the middle of the tracks. What happened? What happened? This is weird. He shouldn't have stopped like that. They pushed the air brakes. They hit, pushed them wrong. <laughs> Come on, turn on your sander.
Cars are going to be rocking for a while, so get ready. Hold on Ever been to Gunnison, Colorado? Yeah, that's right near Gunnison. Yeah, yeah. Because if you go to Gunnison, the 268 Bumblebee's there, the C16. The same steamer like this one, but smaller. Like their RGS that's in the museum, it's the same size as that one. Yeah, it's gonna be rocking for the whole ride up. So hold on. Yep.
All right, copy on that. Thank you much. We're not making no progress, guys. If we can maybe even get another motor car up front of us and drop some sand along the way over. All right, um, yeah, stand by here. Uh, we'll be getting back with you shortly, over. Affirmative. We're not going anywhere. Uh, Stevens, uh, 44, just stop what you're doing there, over. One go up and get yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Harry, just stop what you guys are doing there. We're not making no progress at all. The shot guys are coming up with some sand now, and we're going to have to come up with a plan, guys. Somebody's going to have to go in front of us and drop sand in front of us, over. Uh, affirmative, yeah, just wait there till the shop guys get here. Uh, conductor 216 to dispatch, you copy that over. Uh, CNTS dispatch answering train 216, 216. Uh, I'm talking to Avery here. Uh, he thinks probably what we're going to need to do is send a helper up for you. Uh, can you get in, into uh, uh, between switches that Lovato over? Uh, negative. We can not. We're below Lovato. We need some sand also. If they can bring some sand to us, then we can make it up there, over. Okay, uh, I'm not sure Avery has sand, uh, but he is talking about sending a uh, helper up there. So uh, if you can get between switches at Lovato, uh, I'll be sending orders and additional instructions over. We're trying to wait, but I doubt it. We're going to need some sand up here. We're going to try to work in now, shovel some dirt or something down the rail. Do a 16 out. Uh, 84, go ahead, Stevens.
going to stop here and let that other train go in front of us. Yeah, this is where going to go around in front of us. Mabato Trestle, 100 feet above Wolf Creek. This is Dr. from Wolf Creek up in Colorado. <laughs> has run light on across the bridge because the bridge, having been built back in the 1880s, was built for much smaller locomotives sort of they could ride around a zoo or an amusement park behind. These 1924 locomotives are too big and heavy to put two of them on the bridge at the same time. So 489 has run across light. You can see it over there. And 484 will follow us across, and then we'll stop on the other side and hook up both locomotives for the pull up the rest of the way to the great path. One whistle means we stop. Three toots from 489 as he backs down to make uh, the coupling, connect the air brakes. At the base of the cliffs over to the left is the Rio Tama, Tama River coming down from Colorado. It's flowing on down to join the Rio Grande River down at Española. We never cross the Continental Divide on the railroad, even though we go over a 10,000 foot path. We're uh, completely within the headwaters of the Rio Grande. Come back a little bit later because we're going to go around. 
more of our colored cold air in. And uh, I shoveled that green coal in and make a lot of smoke like this for a few minutes. So the coal burns down the coat and it gets all the smelly stuff out of it. And then it burns a lot cleaner. And you can tell whatever you shovel it, which is a great deal of the time coming up the hill. So we get all this smoke. Sometimes we get the wind blowing straight back down the valley. And it's a really dirty trip. I ride back home with a black beer. Ago. 
present volcanoes off to the north that blew out rocks and ash and lava and pumice and piled up and has been weathering here for millions of years and formed all these different colors and shapes and sizes. It all keeps falling down, requires constant maintenance to clear the tracks off. Occasionally it'll bend a piece of rail, we'll have to replace a piece of rail. Sometimes you have to drill and blast some of these big rocks when they fall down on the tracks. This morning, I assume, we sent a bump car out ahead of the train to be sure the rails were clear. Sometimes we have to stop. The engine crew has to get off and roll a few rocks off the track. Mountain railroading is always an adventure. Got a little piece of that this morning with the slippery rails. up on Combray's Path. One locomotive like this could take 70 cars down this side of the hill. It's 14 miles from Chama, just below 8,000 feet up to the path. And the Nito is almost exactly the same elevation, just below 8,000 feet. But it's 50 miles on this side. 14 the climate zones. We're up here among the spruces. And uh, we'll be ending up out in the valley of the... Uh, uh, following the, the valley of the Rio de los Pinos out in the San Luis Valley. Every mile it gets a little drier, a little warmer. The climate will be changing. But it's a long, gentle descent on this side. locomotive could take 70 cars down this side. Only about a dozen up the other side. Which is why Chama was there. To assemble trains. Take care of the locomotives. Number of cattle grazing. Typically about 4,500 cattle up here. The Forest Service does a survey every winter, determines the carrying capacity. And uh, we often see cowboys moving the cattle around from one pasture area to the other, all set up and regulated by the Forest Service.
going quick, quick, quick. The train's backing up faster. So that's going to come from the smoke tech, you're going to get covered. What? You're going to get covered. You get covered in that stuff. The king's ready to go. Ready to get this train going? You ready to get rolling? Make sure not to run out of water. 42 did that and it was foolish. 42 ran out of water yesterday. 
the boy truck thought to do. I work for the North Fork Southern Steam Program. We never run out of water because we fill up all the time. This job. When he says gives it the signal, I'll give you the thumbs up. And then go ahead and pull out when he gives it the high time. They keep these trains running all night. They don't put out the fire at night. They have to keep them running. It's hard to start up. Yeah. It takes too long for the fire to build up. I know, because I do a steam program at the North Coast and Southern in Wyoming. One is to send aboard at 8.30 when this one clears. It has to get in the clear first. See when you guys get back. Alrighty. I got the next one to do. I got the next one.
the one that we saw. Because of the brake mate. So don't do it. No, no. Is he the duck shot? Yeah.
protege him. He's a little protege today, so. This is the Omnibus River. We're going to follow that all the way 
Mr. Overton, the full name is Rio de las Animas Perdidas, River of Lost Souls. And then the people want the souls. Perhaps. I don't know, but it looks like the raptor is going to be out in full force today, so it should be entertaining. Yes, yes. 
This is it. This is the grass that they use to land on. Yeah, look. There they are right there. This, this is it. Right there, look on the glider. There are wheels. They're tiny. That's two. One small one and one big one.
because it has a velcro on it. And uh, it's the sixth in a row, so I can't do that with the gloves on. But for the most part, I'm losing my patience over there. But otherwise, in between the patients, I would have to do that. But anymore, of course, I don't let my hands soil either. Because I don't have gloves on. But, um, Yeah. 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 Yeah.
it's not a Mozart. It's a Mozart. Yep, we're right now in it. You can see the train from the snack bar. You can see the engine and stuff. That was cool.
your side. It's got to be a sharp right turning. Yeah. Because it's coming on our side, Mom. It's about to do that. It's got to be a sharp right turning. It's cool. There's no room. There's no room for you to stand. Yeah, it's so cool. So can I open my window? I really want to do it Back on my side.
so through the San Juan National Forest, uh, which is uh, quite lovely. A lot of it's designated wilderness, uh, which means there are no motorized vehicles in it. Uh, we're grandfather closed in because we've been here longer than the uh, National Forest has, so something kind of neat. But uh, other than that, um, yeah, this is the highlight going up. It's kind of look kind of like that there. So it's only about 400 foot drop where we are down into the end of this river down below. Something kind of cool. And uh, yeah, I don't like ice as much. There's some really lovely rocks on this side. So. <laughs> but those are too. I can record on this one too. Sure. <laughs> Video taping and recording, taking pictures. Wow. What he's doing is not smart. It's really slow right now. Either one of them are smart. Yeah, we've given up on smart. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll settle for well-to-do. So we'll <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, I know it's warm in here. We should open a window. I'm gonna do it quick before we pull out. Great. Mm -hmm. See, just remember, Pink Creek is where the waterfall is. Okay, Yes. I stood up for half the ride. Yeah, well, it's, it's yeah. part of the city, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, it's a good thing. You can never sit back on the door. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. There's a beer can there. I know, I saw that. They can find a way to do anything, anywhere. the water thing.
get free. Thank you.